Welcome all. This is Diane. I made some really big soft pastels from these smaller pastels that I made over 20 years ago. And I thought I would go through the steps that I did to make the bigger pastels. And there's also a PDF that's available on my website that has directions on how you can make the original pastels. And of course you can make those any size that you want to. But this is on making the, the larger ones from the smaller pastels. I don't see why you couldn't do this with commercial pastels. This is uh, the palette knife, mortar and pestle, and this it's, the squirt bottle has water in it. So I'm taking off the labels of all of the smaller ones that I have that I'm going to be crushing up. And what I did was I just took a handful of all the pastels that were the same color. I didn't really pay attention to value and I figured I would just make them all into one larger stick. So this is me just using the pestle part of the mortar and pestle to just grind them up. The soft pastels are water soluble but it definitely helps speed up the process by just crunching them up. And I'm doing this on a sheet of glass on a cutting board. And the reason I'm not using the, the bowl or the mortar that goes along with this is that it tends to stick to the, the end and on the inside of the container. And that's pastel that I can keep in the stick and use. So I'd rather do that than have to wipe it away. So I'm getting it to a finer, finer consistency, just breaking up some of the, the bigger chunks and getting it relatively, relatively smooth. Um, I think of it maybe uh, not really a flour texture, maybe more like a brown sugar where it's still, it's still got a few little texture to it, but it's not wispy fine. And you'll notice that I'm wearing vinyl gloves. I like to wear gloves when I'm using any art supplies anymore, just to prevent any possible health hazards that it might cause with it getting on my skin and me, my body absorbing any of it. So I've made it, made it as fine as I can get it. And then in that bottle was just some water. I made a little well in the center. And this is me just starting to blend it in together with the palette knife. And it takes a little bit for, for the powder to absorb the moisture. But once it does, you can start just sort of kneading it with the palette knife. It helps to break up any smaller clumps that might be in there. Because the pastel is water soluble, pressing the water in there is going to help smooth it out and give it a finer texture. And you'll notice that I'm adding the water slowly, just a little bit at a time. And that's because you don't want it to be too thin. You want to be able to mold your stick at the end. You don't want it to be soppy. So I just keep adding a little bit of water at a time. You can use an eyedropper. I just had this uh, condiment container handy, so I just used it to, to apply the, the water to the mixture. So I just keep sort of folding it over pressing it down and you can see here it's starting to get a nice smooth texture. Once you start doing this a few times you can sort of get a rhythm going and knock several out fairly quickly 
and you'll see it sort of sticks to the the palette knife too. When it's the right consistency, it will not stick to your gloves or the the palette knife. You'll see some maybe of the the powder residue on your hands or your gloves, but it wouldn't stick like it was just a moment ago. And you'll see You'll notice how much smoother it's getting the more I just keep folding it in and pressing, pressing down on the, the mixture. It's getting really close to being to being correct to where we can start forming. It looks like it might be a little crumbly, but as long as you keep mixing it in, that moisture is going to break down those pastels. It's very fine line between having too much moisture and not enough. But I think this is this is ready to go. And here I'm testing to see if it is thick enough at this point. Scrape off all of it from the glass. Get every little bit that you can. That's material that you can use on your art piece. And then just start rolling it and kneading it. Make sure it's all blended in there really well. This is almost perfect consistency. It's sort of a density like Play-Doh, only with a little bit of a subtle, gritty texture. So as soon as I get this shaped the way I want it, I can just set it to the side and let it dry. It'll need to set at least for 24 hours, depending upon the thickness. These are pretty thick, so I think I gave these a, a day and a half, two days maybe at least. And then that's it. You can, once they're dry, you can swatch them and start using them and enjoy.